have at least one S11 swimmer and the totals of all of the swimmers in the team the classifications of all the swimmers in the team would total no more than 49 points so you've got a mixture of classifications here mixture of male and female and it's a medley really as well <laughs> so we're going to have to be right on our game Liz to see this one we saw the Japanese team go out in lane number six Brazil are going in lane number three Great Britain will come out in lane number five the two Red Ferns brother and sister Matthew Redfern Rebecca Redfern they will lead the Great Britain team off Matthew Redfern making his debut at a major international championship and the Spanish team complete the lineup so four teams taking the start for this 49 point relay yeah no no time for any of the teams here so don't read too much into the lane draw the action could come from anywhere across the pool yeah we've been trying to kind of look at where our favorites are for this one but it's just too difficult to choose isn't it yeah, absolutely. If we go anywhere, all teams are swimming with 49 points, except the Japanese. They've got 48 points, two S11s, two S13s. Well, all the teams going well. The Japanese and the Brazilians going in the order of their, their female swimmer going first. And the female swimmer also going last with the two male swimmers in the middle. Spanish have gone complete opposite. Male swimmer at the start and at the end with their two female swimmers in the middle. And Great Britain have gone male, female, male, female. So everything could change about. Right at the top there is Brazil. Spain one lane down. Great Britain one lane down from them. And Japan in lane number six right at the bottom. Spanish team and the Great Britain team look like they are off to an early lead. I expect them to go out first. They both have male athletes. They both have S13 swimmers, so they are like for like, but going very well there. In lane three, about to take the tap is Maria Carolina Gomez Santiago of Brazil. She's the S12 female athlete. She was a silver medalist in the backstroke event behind Hannah Russell of Great Britain, but going well in the early stages is Enrique Jose Albrama Moya of Spain. Yeah, the Spanish team look like they're going to have a lead. Matthew Redfern just holding off the challenge from the Brazilian swimmer to bring the Great Britain team into second position. But Spain will hand over in first. I'll have the two female athletes now. Uh, Marianne Bola Lopez goes in for the Spanish team on the breaststroke leg. Rebecca Redfern takes over from her brother. And she is a bronze medalist in the SB13 breaststroke. So expect Rebecca Redfern to maybe close some of this gap. Yeah, she is against William Batista Silva, an S13 male athlete for Brazil. You can see those two yellow hats there flanking the early Spanish leaders. Paula Lopez doing very well here to hold on to the lead, but Batista Silva will be second at the turn, and Redfern not that far behind for Great Britain. Well, Great Britain will have Stephen Clay going on the next leg, a big weapon for the Great Britain team. So Brazil will try to get some distance between them and the Great Britain team. The Spanish will have their second female athlete coming on for this next leg, and that's uh, Maria Delgado Nadal. But Brazil will hit the front, and they will have their S11 male swimmer going in the water next. Rebecca Redfern's done a good job for Great Britain, pulling up alongside Mariana Polo Lopez. It is all closing up now, but Brazil will touch in front. But Great Britain have got Stephen Clegg going in next, and he has had a great week so far. Well, Stephen Clegg is the world record holder on this 100 metres 
Butterfly is an S12 athlete. He goes against Jose Luis Pedrigo Maya of Brazil, an S11 athlete. So Clegg will be looking to get an advantage for the British team because he hands over to S11 swimmer Scarlett Humphrey for the final freestyle leg. So watch Clegg now as Great Britain hit the front. Well, Stephen Clegg has to get some distance between himself and the Spanish team and the Brazilian team. The Spanish team have their S12 female swimmer on the last leg that the Brazilians do, but the Spanish have their male S11 swimmer, so he might close the gap on the British female S11 swimmer. Stephen Clegg's done a great job for the GB team and hands over to Scarlett Humphrey now, the 17-year-old making her debut at a major international competition. This could be very close indeed. Well, the Brazilian swimmer has entered the water to Silva. Souza will do everything she can to chase down the teenager Humphrey, who's leading Great Britain into this final turn. But also coming is the charge of Jose Cantero Elvira of Spain in that centre lane. Well, here goes Scarlett Humphrey. She goes over still in the lead. It is closing up, though. Scarlett Humphrey still has it in second place. It is the Brazilian, the Silva Souza, in third place. It's still the Spanish team. Look at this. Everything is absolutely closing up now. There's still 25 meters to go. And it looks like it could be between Brazil and Spain now. As they're coming down to the closing stages here, everyone encouraging their swimmers here in the stands. But it looks like, well, it's not all over yet. It's between Spain and Brazil. And the touch goes to the Brazilian team. Ahead of Spain and a fast finish from Japan means that they claim the bronze medal ahead of Great Britain. What a race that was. It lived up to the hype, Liz. And what a win from the Brazilians. Well, it, it went down to the wire. And as we always talk about with any of the relay combinations, it's really important where you can put your various classifications. And in the medley relay, that's even more limiting. And having, having S11s anywhere but the front is always not a preference because so you'll see in the freestyle relays that most of the s11s will go first to avoid the, the takeover issues but you can't do that you haven't got that luxury and everyone's broken out into song here <laughs> it's we said we love a relay this isn't even the last one and uh, it was very very exciting oh great race there the brazilian team just holding off the challenge from the spanish team by only 0.2 of a second. It's still unofficial, though. It's not, surely there can't be more drama. Of course it is. Oh. Of course it is. Medley relay. It's a relay, and it's the medley one. Oh. So we might be waiting some time for this result. We didn't even mention the Japanese team, because they were somewhat behind. They put their two S11s out first on the first two legs, and they, they really weren't in contention at all. But they had their faster swimmers on the final leg and they just caught the Great Britain team in the closing stages there by, and to win it right about a second. Well, there's the, the start of that one. Good start from Matthew Redfern of Great Britain, but the Spanish swimmer Alhambra Mola did a great job to get up 